It is Saturday, January the 20th, the week before Pegasus Day, and road to the Derby Day at the fairgrounds in New Orleans. Lots of big stakes races there. We've been called off because of the weather at Laurel and Aqueduct and Oaklawn, but we're playing Tampa, Santa Anita, here at Gulfstream, and of course the fairgrounds. Let's see how the big day turned out. Maria, then comes Thirsty Date, Amarula's son, and Gator 25 is last. Summer Gold is the leader. Beer Bolly's working pretty hard to try to keep up with that one right now. It's still a length back, but inching a little bit closer. Luna Maria tries to move up on the outside and behind Horses Fire Lane. Final furlong time now. Here comes Beer Bolly up after Summer Gold. Summer Gold digs into the inside. Luna Maria down the center of the track. Summer Gold is still just in front. Beer Bolly lunging with 50 yards left to go. Beer Bolly, Summer Gold, Luna Maria down the outside. Beer Bolly and Summer Gold, they hit the wire. Beer Bolly. Just the fourth at Gulfstream was a maiden special going a mile and a sixteenth on the turf. I like Ken Ramsey and Sappy Joseph Jr.'s number five, Lady Emily Catherine. My Rad Ortiz was on board, but right to the front was collared at the yes, top of the stretch. There at eight to one as they straighten for the drive. From between horses, self-confident, Joanny looks for room. Lady Emily Catherine back for more inside as they come past the eighth ball. Lady Emily Catherine to the wire. Came back for the win, tripled the bet, first winner at Gulfstream. the quarter pole. Paper Mancha in the length in front. Princess Giovanzi, a million dollar monkey, still waiting for room. Cloud Storage swings into action. Spectacular gal down the outside. Paper Mansion into the stretch. Now room at the inside for million dollar monkey, if good enough, tries to come on through. Princess Giovanzi is back third down the outside. Cloud Storage and Spectacular Gal. Paper Mansion is still there, though. Paper Mansion and Kevin Gomez now in front by two. Second million dollar monkey. Paper Mansion going to win it all the way here by three in the end. Road to the Derby Day at the fairgrounds. My action started in race three, an optional claiming non-winners to life tank thing, a rich $100,000 price tag. I like Brad Cox's number seven Tarifra. She looked much the best after faltering as the favorite at Churchill Downs last time. Pressed the pace to the far turn, made her move, got out kicked early. Puts the stoke up on the front side, and late night Lizzie is last. These three old fillies come for home, past the quarter pole, and toward the inside. Standout sensation has taken the lead from Tarifa. With Edgar Morales, it's standout sensation. Three quarters, one minute, 14.08 seconds. Standout sensation. Tarifa ducked down toward the rail and tries to battle back here. It's Tarifa. Triple the bet, first win in Darwin's. The fifth at the fairgrounds was a maiden special weight for three year olds. I thought Steve Asmussen's $1.4 million son and gun runner would look much the best today and move on to Stakes Company. Press the pace, slid through on the From inside. Past the quarter pole, sweet talking bourbon strains away in third, then night out and San Siro. Three quarters in one minute 11.43 seconds with Joel Rosario. It's Hall of Fame. Stakes winner next time out. In the seventh, Todd Fletcher's triple espresso is looking to break his maiden. He'd been good enough in the second start to run in the grade two pilgrim. Today he was near the back to the top of the stretch, swung clear, wide into the lane.
Palomino on an early bid. He's three wide to quicken things up. With the inside edge, it's Oconee Life. In between horses goes our Tempest. We live this game as next. Sliding through and angling to the far outside. Triple Espresso at the rail. Live to ride. They're at the top of the stretch. Plenty of hopes here. Off cover, White Palomino. From between horses, we live this game. Over the top, it's Triple Espresso. He's trying to fire forward, but our Tempest is to the front. Then it's McVeigh in third, followed by Tesudo. They turn for home, and May Moon is in charge. Moving into second is McVeigh now, followed by all that glory, but it's lights out for May Moon in a sparkling debut. It's a rainy day, but here's a ray of sunshine. May Moon romping home at first asking. Wins by seven easy lengths. Seven to the fairgrounds. The second level allowance on the turf. All right, number one, chasing the crown, coming off a long layoff. They've had bullet works. Split horses at the Pretty top of the lane. From fifth. Chasing the crown is sixth. Then temper tantrum from point proven Alex June. We trail back then two toward the inside fortuity with Curly Jack and Coliseo. They come past the quarter pole. That's Freedom's Way for Luis Saez. Three quarters and one at 12.67 seconds. Freedom's Way leads the way from on the outside. Here comes Chasing the Crown, who's charging hard now. Wonderful Justice drop back on the outside is Point Proven, who's lifting late with Joel Rosario. Chasing the Crown at three to five. Chasing the Crown has won it by three quarters length to Point Proven. Another winner at the fairgrounds. As they turn to the top of the stretch, just beat the odds. Sherlock's jewel up on the outside, trying to come after that one. Power Humor still pitching away toward the inside from third. A final furlong left to go. Just beat the odds, has to make another 150 yards. Sherlock's jewel on the outside has to make up three quarters of a length. It's just beat the odds. Here comes Sherlock's jewel. Sherlock's jewel surging late. Just beat the odds. And Sherlock's jewel, Sherlock's jewel to go on and win it. Just beat the odds. A quarter of a mile to go. Spice on the inside and Hattie T. Mo Fox Gibbon gets underway behind Miss Brightside and down at the rail. She is romantic. They're a furlong from the finish. Spice digs in. Mo Fox Gibbon is flying down the center of the course, though. A winner every step of the way. Mo Fox Gibbon blows him away. It'll be a photo for second. Mo Fox Gibbon by four. in the late stakes races today. The tent at the fairgrounds is the prep for the fairground oaks. This is the silver bullet day going a mile 70 on the main track. And I think number six, West Omaha is a legitimate Oaks Philly. She was a fast closing third to just miss at Church of Downs and a maiden special weight, and then one for fun the next day. I think she'll show her class today. Number six, West Om Om Omaha, I triple Go. the bet. And it's a combinate Eva at 11 to one, still narrowly leading Miss Code West, who makes her bid now. Miss Code West has taken a short lead as West Omaha is poised on the outside for Luis Saez and Sistina Chapel coming with a four path run as they straighten for home. A combinate Eva, West Omaha, Miss Code West, is it between Phillies? Three quarters and one minute thirteen point seventy seconds. West Omaha has taken the lead from Miss Code West with on the outside Sistina Chapel and perfect shot was angled doubt as a comedy diva has dropped back. It's West Omaha. West Omaha here in a dominating display. She's raced away. West Omaha won by five.
Now, Shanghai Sunrise and Wish They All Could Be. And here's Scary Fast Ride, cut loose on the outside. As Diamonds Dancing drops out of it, as does Soul Sweet there at the top of the stretch. And Scary Fast Ride is up to battle with Wish They All Could Be. Scary Fast Ride to the front. Diamonds Dancing fighting on at the rail in third. A 16th to run. And Scary Fast Ride opens up. And it's going to be Scary Fast Ride to defeat Wish They All Could Be, Diamonds Dancing, The 12th at the fairgrounds is for older horses going a mile and a 16th. The grade two Louisiana, I think lightly raced Saudi crown number three. Goes right to the front or presses the pace and he's your winner today over a likely favorite, Smile Happy. Double the bet on number three, Saudi Third, crown. Saudi crown, five star general. They remain one, two, coming past the quarter pole. Smile Happy, Happy American, looks to unwind on the front outside. Confidence game too wide, and toward the inside, Red Route 1, it's Saudi Crown after three quarters in 1 minute 12.10 seconds with the wrong Giroux. Saudi Crown leads into this final fairgrounds furlong from on the outside, Happy American with five star general, and toward the inside is Red Route 1, but it's Saudi Crown, and Saudi Crown was just superior. Wins the Louisiana Stakes by six. It's been a great day out here at Gulfstream. Love seeing the races. And the uh, weather turned cooler as the day went on. Loved it in my sweater. Just a great day. We'll be back next week for the Pegasus World Cup. Oh my!